Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your sexual love tarot. Um, it is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. Uh, quick disclosure, there is nudity on the cards, um, so if that's not your thing, check out my other readings um, that are not like that. All right, so uh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. Um, I am doing another free reading giveaway. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your name below. All three of those will get you entered. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, that information is in my description box below. All right, let's get into your reading. So Taurus, uh, we have Soulmates and Bless, number 41, which reduces to a five, and Master number 22. Angel numbers 22, all right? I don't know if those mean anything to you, but soulmate and blessed. So, Taurus, let's see what's going on. So, what is going on with Taurus's person in love? Nine of swords. Ooh, you got them stressed out. You got them stuck in their head a little bit, thinking, sleepless nights. Some of you have a black cat. Some of you may be into wearing garter belts this person may like to kiss your neck or that's what they're thinking about anyway i feel like uh, then we have justice libra energy and knight of pentacles virgo energy hmm. i feel like this person wants things to be balanced they want to move slow and methodical they may be planning on coming towards you like that, um, you know, slow, not jumping into anything. But man, I feel like they are fantasizing about you. They may come to you with like some kind of a gift or offering of some sort. Again, with the garter belts. <laughs> some of you are way into that or your person is. All right, what else? Three of Cups and Six of Cups. Your person could, yeah, be stuck in their head. They could be reflecting, reminiscing on memories about you guys. If there was a separation, um, this could be someone from your past and Three of Cups. They could have in the past put you in a third party situation or uh this is saying that they are really thinking about celebrating with you going out having fun having a couple drinks letting loose that kind of a thing um but i feel like they're reminiscing it they're, it's keeping them up at night they're thinking a lot about you and they're reflecting a lot reminiscing probably looking at past pictures of the two of you watching videos if you guys made them <laughs> All right, let's see what's blocking, what's blocking this connection or external influences, blockages or external influences for this connection for Taurus. Blockages. Six of swords. So things never really moved on to a calmer place. We got Page of Swords. Could be an age difference. Ten of Wands. There could have been a big burden here. Maybe there was an age difference that was a burden. If not, um, I feel like maybe... I'm hearing this person wasn't... One of you guys wasn't paying enough attention to this connection. And Seven of Wands... Yeah, someone was very um, protective of their energy or like wouldn't let anyone in or wouldn't let you in or you them. All right. Somebody was very like blocking of this um, connection. So things never moved to a calm place. And look, funny enough, this was at the bottom of the deck. That's like the six of swords. Okay. Moving on to calmer waters. Ten of wands causing a huge burden. 
and then the seven of wands because someone was being like overprotective of their personal space, their energy, their heart. I feel like there was definitely a lot of sexual attention here, sexual, and I feel like it was good, <laughs> but someone couldn't open up. We have another nine and nine, nine of cups and nine of wands. Again, it was like one of you was putting in the effort or fighting for this connection and the other person was just stubborn and not letting the other one in. And then Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment, that ultimate happiness was being blocked. Let's see, how does this person genuinely feel about you, Taurus? How do they feel about you? The Hermit, Virgo energy. They feel possibly like you blocked them out. Could have ghosted them and just said, the heck with this, I'm out of here. Someone could have left someone for someone else. All right, for some of you. And I feel like that bothered the other person. It's like they're still sitting there wishing and hoping, almost like they have regrets. Yeah, Knight of Cups and then the Hierophant. Hmm. Pisces energy, Taurus energy, your energy, Virgo energy. I feel like now this person, after having more wisdom and knowledge, after having maybe someone ghosted the other, walked away from the other, I feel like this person is now looking back, reminiscing, kind of wanting to get this back, Knight of Cups. It's like now they want to come towards you and make some kind of romantic love offering, possibly for a higher level of commitment. I do feel like there was somebody else involved or this person wasn't full committal and keeping options open. But now it's like they're reflecting. It's like they're missing you. They want to come back around. They want to have this. The emperor. Yeah. Aries energy. This person wants to like boss up. They feel like you are the emperor or empress, whatever, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, but you are like the highest of all highs. You know, you are the best of the best. And now I feel like this person's realizing it. Maybe that there's a soul connection here. And three of pentacles. Yeah, now it's like they want to come back around and collaborate, work with you, teamwork, put in the effort, build something with you. I feel like there was a lot of sexual activity going on with you guys, though. Like, hot, heavy, like, crazy attraction. Crazy attraction. All right, potential outcome. The Page of Cups. Four of Swords. Yeah, they want to heal this now. There could be an age difference for some, not all. But now I feel like it. it's like they want to come back around, start, you know, like a fun, playful, new beginning. Nothing crazy, nothing heavy test the waters type of thing um and then do some like healing with this some of you they like love your mouth or you love their mouth and the uh, activity that it can do <laughs> uh, i feel like this person may have or you have one of you i feel more of them may have like written text and then deleted it and didn't send it like wrote stuff out and then you never got it they never sent it they chickened out um i feel like and then we have what is this six of wands in the reverse Ooh, potential outcome for victory and success two of pentacles 
potential outcome, potential outcome. Keep in mind, everyone has free will, so it can change. Oh, what is this one? And the wheel. Yeah, I feel like, um, Taurus, I feel like this person is going to baby step this um, and be like that fun, flirty, playful, let's go out, let's have fun. Um, and then, you know, kind of approach it like, let's heal this. They want to heal this. Um, I'm not sure how you feel. This could be the other way, the way it came out, challenge position. So I feel like for some of you, you may have victory and success with this, giving it another go. And the other half of you, you may not. Um, I feel like you might be a little like weighing your options. Should I, shouldn't I? What do I do here? Um, but ultimately, the wheel. I feel like things are going to turn in your favor. Let me get one more after the wheel. After the wheel, potential outcome. King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like emotions will be balanced. There will be a lot of love. Uh, someone really likes like lingerie, garter belts. That I'm saying it again because it's showing up a lot and it keeps being pointed out to me, so I'm pointing it out to you. Message is not for everyone, but... Uh, and then the towers, more Scorpio energy. Um, there may be some shocking news that comes in. The lovers, Gemini energy. And that could be to this person. Taurus, you may have a choice in love. And that may shock this person that you actually, you have other people to choose from now. It's kind of like the roles reversed. And I feel like that would be shocking to this person. Two of Cups, Five of Cups, the Empress, and Ace of Cups. Wow. So you have a choice to make. And now we have the Emperor and the Empress, and that's you, Taurus, Empress. Emperor's Aries could be dealing with an Aries. Does, does don't have to be. Uh, we have Gemini, Scorpio, Scorpio. We have a lot of other signs here. Pisces, Libra. Um, two of Cups. I feel like one of these, yeah, is the soulmate. Sorry, sorry about the dogs. I feel like this person has a soul contract with you. It's blessed. Something is being divinely guided here. And I feel like this person had options in the past, chose wrong, and now they're thinking about you. They want to come back. They want to heal this. They want things to come together. But Taurus, you may either have another option, you have a choice, or you're weighing your options on whether you should give this person a chance or not. However, I feel like it is looking pretty good. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Soul Bond, Soul Contract, The Empress, Loving, Caring, Nurturing, Abundant, Fertile, Possibly Start a Family if you are at that point in your life. And then Five of Cups. I feel like this person's going to come back and you're going to want it. And you guys are going to be rolling around in the sheets. They're trying to manifest you. It hurts them to not be with you. Uh, let's oh, let me get this. All right. Any advice or clarification for Taurus in this connection? Palm tree, stability, security, Growth, endurance, flexibility, hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Yeah, you're you're kind of giving them a taste of their own medicine here, I feel like, Taurus. And then love, 
Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Yeah, passion to the T. Crazy passion here. What would this person like to say to you? What would this person like to say to Taurus? I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. Yeah, they want back in. I'm in love with you and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a beautiful life with you. Yep. They're coming back. They're coming back. All right, advice for Taurus. Advice. Release. Loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt, divine timing, patience, peace, trust that the divine knows when, healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin, and appreciate, your twin appreciates you, see the blessings, practice appreciation, wow, bless, blessings, soulmate, twin flame, this connection is divinely guided for sure. You guys signed up to meet each other here in this lifetime. Um, all right, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your name below to be entered into the free reading giveaway. Um, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Take care.